Able to On Air major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together, and Champlain Community Services of Vermont. Welcome to this edition of Able Done On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Arlene Seiler. And on this uh, program today, uh, before we mention our guests, we'd like to say we are sponsored, and thank you to our sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and uh, Champlain Community Services. We would like to welcome our guest, Mindy Sprague, uh, who is also a cook and an artist. And what is your name again? Rosie Emmons. Okay. <coughs> and she works with Mindy. Um, on, this, um, on this topic, we will focus on art and people with special needs. Uh, recently, um, we had the Able Done On Air had the opportunity to go to the Berry Opera House and look at the art exhibit that was presented by Washington County Mental Health and many other sponsors. Let's take a look at that art exhibit. Mindy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, besides being a good cook that you are um, and um, that type of thing, that you've been around the, uh, the stove as well as the paintbrush, uh, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about your art? Um, uh, art, the, the arts, all the arts I did. Um, what type of art have you done? Like um, the mask, mm -hmm. the, 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 there's one that, a real face of mine that I did, mm -hmm. that. That we're gonna see piece, pieces, pieces of, of in the video. Uh -huh. And I like, I like the one that I did with a real face, that mask one I did was awesome. Mm -hmm. I like that. Why, uh, so why did you do masks? Was there a reason behind it? Mm. Why did you want to do the mask instead of uh, a regular painting? It's fun. You want to add to that? What What was the reason behind <laughs> it? Okay, so... It's okay. The yeah. art show that we are doing at the Berry Opera House right now... It's uh, still in... It's, it's, in, it's gone, going on until the 29th of July. Mm -hmm. The original theme was a mask, mm -hmm. to do masks. And I try and introduce different types of art. Oh, you're the art teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, I try, well, I'm one of them. Um, I try and introduce a lot of different things for Mindy to try. Um, and one day we were working with uh, plaster impregnated gauze. And that's plaster what- Plaster and what? Impregnated gauze, okay. It's, Which is what? It's gauze that has plaster Paris inside of it. Mm. So what you do is when you first attempt it, um, the subject has Vaseline put all over their face. So Mindy. Mindy, yes. Or anybody who has it done. They have Vaseline put on their face so that when the gauze hardens, you can get it off without tearing their skin. Mm. So what you do with this gauze, it's got plaster in it. You dip it in water, and then you smooth it on their face. So the contours of their face. And their face doesn't burn nope. while it's happening, okay. Nope, that's why you have the Vaseline on. To, it creates a barrier between the, the plaster and their face. Mm -hmm. um, and what I did is I put it on her face and um, the eyes around, left the eyes open and her nose so she could breathe. And it just molded her face. Mm -hmm. And then after like a half hour or so, you go around the edges and you lift up gently and then you can take the whole thing off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So the mask idea was to get Mindy involved in this art project. And she always wanted, uh, um, were you always wanting to be an artist? Or, I mean, was this something new for you? Um, something, something new. Mm -hmm. Mindy has only been painting for, it'll be two years this mm. path next month. Yeah. Wow. How large uh, is, is the groups that you work with that, that do this type of art? I work one-on-one -on -one with Mindy, mm -hmm. so, but there are, this art exhibit has 35 different pieces in it. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody works all at once on stuff or uh, individually? They work individual. Um, sometimes they work together, sometimes they don't. That's basically when they're one-on-one -on -one or when they're able to come and work on their project. Mm. Um, as you can see for this art exhibit, we have everything from painting to Mindy's mask, which was is a sculpture. Was this art exhibit funded by Washington County and other? Um, it, it was put on by um, the Learning Collaborative. Mm. The with, Learning Network. Well, they call it, they've changed their name to the Learning Collaborative, mm. but yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, no, but was it sponsored? By Do you them? know if it was sponsored? I mean, was it, uh, obviously it's at the very Opera House, mm -hmm. but is it has it been sponsored by other organizations besides Washington County Mental Health? Um, as far as I know, it was just a learning collaborative, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A learning network that has sponsored. Is this it. the first art show that they've done, or no. they've done? They have done yeah. one at the Spa in Barrie. That was last year. Um, they also did one at the Aldridge Library, which was downstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, those are the three that I know of mm -hmm. that Mindy's had mm -hmm. actual things in the ex exhibit itself. Okay. Um, now, in terms of now, in terms of the masks that Mindy has done and mm -hmm. other people have done, is it based? Do you like do expressions with the masks or is it just basically? Okay. So with her mask, we started with just the face itself mm -hmm. and then decided on the color. Um, we actually went and had the pieces donated, the wood that she used, donated yep. from um, Pool and Lumber in Williamstown, mm -hmm. um, which helped out a lot for her. Um, her mask is comprised of because I noticed that she that according to the video that we shot mm -hmm. um, she did one mask with cardboard only yep it as was, a schematic or a map or something to what the first mask has um, impregnated gauze it was done on a, a just a plastic face mm -hmm. and that the gauze was put on that and then taken off and then she painted it and that's what started with it. That was her prototype. Mm -hmm. And then after the prototype was done, we decided that we would go on to something bigger, mm -hmm. um, more hands-on, more. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest one that you're going to see is... It was like pieces of CDs. Uh, or discs and it's then actually called glass and then other things. It's actually called Shattered Self. No. Shattered Self. Yep. No. And why is that? Because of the because it material? Was, no, because it was her. It was emotional, you know. She, mm. uh, Mindy picked up the, the name, so I don't know mm. what it actually was, but she called it Shattered Self. Mm. Uh, she broke the CDs up by herself with a hammer and there's two discs that are plywood and then there's slats that are put on the outside that's mm. screwed together. Um, it has um, Gorilla Glue and mm. um, paint mm -hmm. and it, I think it turned out amazing. Wow. Yeah, yeah, um, it's like therapy for them? Good. I, I'm a big proponent on art therapy mm. for everybody. Explain more on that. Okay, so art therapy gives a, gives people with not only intellectual disabilities, but people who have emotional 
things that PBSD, they need. PBSD, for example? Or? Yes. It's a good outlet to get all that stuff out that they can't do verbally. Um, some people can't speak or tell about the trauma they've gone through, and art is a way to get it out. Um, a lot of people think it's hocus pocus, but I'm a big proponent that I think that through music, art, and all that stuff, poetry, that is a good outlet to get emotions and things that are going on in their head out. Mm -hmm. And so, do you? Is this better? Do you think? You say art therapy. So mm -hmm. is. It, do you think this is better than just having regular counseling or? No, I don't think it's better. I think it helps. It can go hand in hand. <coughs> I mean, it's sometimes it's harder for people to put their feelings in words. And it's great to have that when you have a therapist that you trust that you can go and talk to them. But then there are people who, even if they have a therapist, they need another outlet to get it out to either help monitor their emotions, not really monitor, but like um, get their emotions out in a constructive way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so in other words, getting their, uh, out, the, getting their emotions out in a constructive way without uh, punching walls, without yes. Um, yes. Um, punching, you know, it's better, people. <laughs> it's better to put the aggression out on a canvas yeah. than it is on, onto a person or an object. So they can feel the expressions. Mm -hmm. And why, why do you like to paint? Why do you like to paint? Because um, it's, it's fun. It, it, it keeps me busy. And it helps what? And it, and it helps and it help me out. How? How? Uh, how does it help you? Okay. I like to focus when I do it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you like doing the mask more than cooking, or do you like both? I like both. <laughs> I like both, I do. Because, you know, chefs <laughs> use the plate as a canvas. Mm -hmm. Art, you know, do you have food photography and that type of thing, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so is it, I mean, did you do the art exhibit last year or this is your first time? This is... I've done three. I did three. Okay. I did three. Mindy has done everything from abstract. Explain what that is. Abstract is um, paint, color, shape, just mm -hmm. put on canvas. Doesn't really represent... So paint, charcoal, she hasn't other worked with mediums. charcoal, but other mediums. Um, and it doesn't really represent anything. It's just there could be shapes. There, and splatter is abstract. You know, you just, and what is that exactly? Um, you throw paint at a canvas mm -hmm. with, like, brushes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Or you take, um, I showed Mindy a technique that's called, um, you take a sponge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have one canvas that is a 48 by 26, I think. So it's a huge. It's huge. Yeah. That whole canvas, is which... It, is it huger than this? It's big. It's, yeah. it's taller than I am. It's almost as tall as I am. And yeah. I'm five foot <laughs> something. So that whole canvas, it's a scarecrow. Mm -hmm. um, we did not use one single paintbrush on it. No. None at all. None at all. Wow. And so just sponges. Just sponges and paper towels. And that's, that's it. it. And that's it. And she has like 36 hours in that canvas. Wow. And it didn't take me that long to do it. Mm. It um, did a lot of mixing the paints and mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. basically what she did was take a projector and put the subject on, on the canvas and then did color after that. Wow. Mm. Yep. So like traced, um, um, almost yeah. similar to tracing. Yeah, basically. But um, a lot of artists, when they are doing a big subject, will take a photograph of what they so, want. Similar, well, similar to animation, because when you do like, for example, um, 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 I'll give you an example, Hanna-Barbera or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. When they do they, the Flintstones, 
first of all, they'll they'll paint it, but they'll they'll they'll, they'll put it in a cell first, yep, and do, do the movement, mm -hmm. of, or or Disney mm -hmm. example. Basically, they'll, they start with the painting, and then they transpose it to a cell, exactly. and then they move the cell mm -hmm. so that gives the. And object if you're doing a half an hour show, mm -hmm. like the Flintstones, for example, mm -hmm. it, you know, or or I'll give you, there's a, an old animation studio that mm -hmm. used to be, it's no longer in existence, uh, Filmation. Mm -hmm. The people that did He-Man and She-Ra and all, it, it would take a, a team of artists just to do one movement. Yep. You know, lifting the sword or doing something and then putting that to a half an hour mm -hmm. canvas, if you will. Mm -hmm. Yep. Per, you know. You can do it with flip books too. Yeah, the um, old flip it and you see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you see it move. Yeah. Um, so basically, yes, she she um, projected it onto the canvas and outlined it, and then after that, after it was outlined, then she went through and did the color. Mm -hmm. So basically, what the outline does is just put put the subject on the canvas, and then you go from there. You don't see the outlines after the camp the canvas is painted. It's all done in everything. So um, we did sponges, right? Sponges we did. And what else did we do? We did um, pa paper towels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we did, um, I know those two we did. Mm -hmm. Did what, I'm sorry? We did sponges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did paper towels. And then we had some that were um, different shapes. Different kind of shapes. Yep. Like um, circled mm -hmm. or, or round. Yep. We used yep. sea sponges. Mm. Those, yep. And then like cosmetic sponges. Yeah, those, yep. Um, and basically that's... And that's it. And then blended and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing piece if you ever get a chance to see mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, her, uh, her art is in... Mm -hmm. Um, that piece isn't in there, but oh, oh the art with the sponges um, isn't in there. There's actually a couple of pieces that are. Um, the landscape, which is a really big one, when you go in there, um, it looks like the mountains with the um, like a little brook running through the stones at the bottom. Mm -hmm. That was all done with sponges and no paintbrushes. Mm -hmm. um, there's also reflections, which is in there. The only paintbrush that was used was to put the um, white birches. I know there the was somebody that did a bird or birds of some sort. On on the window. Yes, was Min that done? Mindy and I did that. It took us about a month to do that yeah, one. Yeah, we did. We repurposed um, the what? What did we use to repurpose? A purpose? Yeah, um, what did we put it on? We put it on a, like a, gla a glass window. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, what? A used glass window. Yes, an yeah. old barn window. Yeah. An old farmhouse window. Like a big window. We used. Mm -hmm. And she's actually donating that to the so, uh, Green Mountain Self Advocate um, no, wow. um, Gala this fall. Mm -hmm. I am. So That's going to be the silent auction. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So, um, and that was done in several different stages also. Mm -hmm. yep. Without breaking, trying to without breaking the glass. Cause yes, and because there's, <laughs> there's... Is it more like stained glass? No, it's not. This is just regular glass with acrylic paint on it. We had to go through and get some of the old paint off it and put Mod Podge on it so that it made... What is that? Mod Podge is like a glue. <laughs> you put it on there, it creates a barrier between, like there was an old, it's an old window from an old farmhouse so it has like lead paint, so you don't want mm -hmm. that to be exposed to anybody. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you had to c cover it up mm -hmm. to give it some of the integrity that it still has, mm -hmm. the, but also make it safe for everybody else. So basically, she went through and did the whole frame yes. with that, and then we went in and put the birds on it one step at a time. So there's layers of paint. And then at the end, she mod podge the back of it so that the paint won't flick off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, um, so how long does it normally take a person to do a piece of art? Depends. 
It, it varies. <laughs> um, some people are very focused mm. and they can get it done like in a few hours. So you, you give them like an art class on... Well, like I don't give an art class to everybody else. Um, I have, I've gone through school and I've had some classes and I love art and I figured I would impart that on Mindy. Um, the ones that gave the art that gave the art classes at the Learn Collaborative um, actually do the classes, but Mindy and I work together, so I'm not I'm not saying. So that. are they trained artists, or they just do the art, or? Um, they're trained. Um, I don't know their education altogether, but they've done it a long time. Mm -hmm. um, do. You <clears throat> Is there going to be more um, art exhibits for Washington County, or? Oh, I'm sure there probably will be. I don't know exactly when. I don't know where. Um, we just figure that out when mm -hmm. they tell us. Oh, okay. Um, is um, so. We only have a couple minutes left. The art exhibit is going on. Is finishing up this week. Yeah. Right. Monday's the last day. Monday's the last day. And you, how long has it been? It's been a month? It's been since June 27th, I think. Yeah, June 27th. June 20th or June something or other. I can't remember. Well, we would like to thank you for oh, joining yeah. us on, on this edition of Ableton on Air. Anything you want to say about, um, any more things you want to say about um, art, art people with disabilities? I think everybody has a talent and they just have to be given some time and energy and the equipment to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, we would like to thank you for joining us on this edition of Able Dead On Air. Um, before we end, we'd like to say our, uh, that our program, the Able Dead On Air, is uh, brought to you in sponsorship by Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services and Champlain Community Services. Again, if you would like to find out more about Washington County Services, where can they turn? What's the website? Um, I think it's WCMHS.org. Okay, so it's www. If you want to find out more about Washington County um, and its services, you can go to www.wcmhs.org. Um, and if you want to find out more about Ableton on Air and this program, you can um, go to www.orcamedia, that's O-R-C-A, www.orca, media.net. Uh, this puts an end to this edition of Ableton on Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Ableton On Air major sponsorship was given by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering neighbors with disabilities to be home in the community. Also sponsorship was given by Washington County Mental Health Services, where hope and support come together, and Champlain Community Services of Vermont.